Yeah, yeah, that round, chubby, blonde face belongs to me. But this isn't about me. This is my dad. My dad was a cool guy. No, I cannot understate how cool he was. Guys, that is my great grandma, and my dad somehow got her to ride a trike. To say this guy was a hero of mine is nothing short of an understatement. Him and I we made some pretty good memories together. The man meant the world to me. I'm not the only one. He meant the world to his parents, too. Also, I'll never know how he was able to win over my mom. Maybe it was all to do with style. All right, all right. He was a sexy beast, what can I say? This is the last picture I have of my dad. The day I took this, I told him, hey, give me a smile. And that's what he left me with. As for this, this is the last photo I have of him and I together. A family photo with me standing next to my dad. I lost my dad to cancer back in 1995. I had just turned 16. My dad, he was only 37. He was 37 years, 3 months, 19 days to be exact when he passed. So what I did was back in 2017, I factored in what day I would officially have outlived my dad. And the day that he never got, I dedicated that day solely to him. The first thing I did was, of course, catch a sunrise, the one he never would have seen. I found a great place at a nearby park. And not only was it a gorgeous sunrise, but all of the animals were out. My dad would have loved this. Though he might have made a quip about hunting some of those deer. Next, of course, I had to get breakfast. My dad and I used to go out for breakfast every Friday, and we would always end up someplace where you got some huge, massive breakfast that was pretty much guaranteed to give you a heart attack. So, naturally, I took my kiddo out to a huge breakfast, and we recreated one of mine and my dad's traditions. I spent a lot of time on the road, listening to some classic rock. My dad loved to cruise, so he would have loved this part. But I made my way out to the graveyard that he's buried at, and of course I visited with him there. Following that, I met up with some old friends. I was born an only child, but these guys, these guys were like brothers to me. And I thought if my dad had one more day, he'd want a beer with his brothers. So that's what we did. At the time, I hadn't seen these guys in years. In fact, one of them I hadn't seen for over a decade. I'm very grateful that we had this day because I've lost him as well since then. Again, I did some more cruising around, some more jamming to classic rock. And when it was dinner time, I took my gorgeous wife out for a meal, a Hawaiian place that my dad would have loved. I mean, he would have loved having dinner with a pretty lady, but he also would have loved the food here. My dad used to have these hog roasts where he'd invite all of his friends out and we would cook a pig Hawaiian style in the ground. Naturally, I capped the day off by catching a sunset that my dad never would have had. You know, out of everything I did all throughout the day, this was honestly the part that got to me the most. As that sun started to dip behind the tree line, it really did feel like I had lost him all over again. I even stood on my tiptoes just to keep one last second longer with the sun. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. If you still have someone that you can call, do so. And if not, do something to keep one of their memories alive.